Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Nick Calandra, Elisa Marcante, they are the epitome of white privilege. Have you ever noticed how it is that white, educated, supposedly educated people are the ones telling everybody else to shut up? These are the woke, right? They are supposedly, in our society, the positions of privilege. They're white, they're educated, right? And they're telling everybody else how to live their lives. They're telling everybody else what they should and not listen to. These people coordinate an attack to sh shut down SmashJT.com. Let me start off by saying that I don't agree, and I made it public with the uh, way that SmashJT was going about changing the video game industry, video game journalism. Video game journalism is trash because people like this, right, the self-righteous, uh, woke, as they, you know, people call them, journalists, leftists, Marxist socialists, try to preach to everybody else what they should think, do, and how they should live their lives, and what type of video games that should they should enjoy, and which video games are the right ones, which video games are the wrong ones. Okay, they are the epitome of what's wrong in the video game industry, and in a lot of multimedia society. The internet is not a place for free speech, as you can well tell. Smash JT clearly had the wrong opinion. Did he have the right tactics? Not according to me. If I was in his business model, I would just produce a better product and let the market decide. Right? If these people are absolute trash at their work, and mostly they are, the market's going to decide not to listen to them. That's why these people talk about other things, because they're no longer relevant. YouTube and other media have made them irrelevant. But when you go about doing it this way, there's a couple of things that you have to look at, right? If it was me and I had a business and somebody's attacking my business negatively and I'm, I'm losing money, the first person I would call is my attorney, <laughs> right? Because clearly his website was shut down over freedom of speech issues. On the internet, we all know it leans left. Now, I'm a free speech absolutist, as, as long as it's not a crime in what you're saying. There's no right for you not to be offended, right? And even though I disagree with Smash JT's position on how to fight this, this fight of freedom of, of expression, he has the right to do it. He has the right to do it and make a list as much as these people make lists, as much as these people attack other people, attack gamers in general, and they have the freedom to speak, a freedom that you don't have. That right there is white privilege. More specifically, it's white, leftist, Marxist, socialist, white privilege. That's what you have on the internet. Because if you're left-leaning, if you believe in identity politics, if you believe in all these other things, you're probably going to have a, a much better time trying to get your ideas out there than if you're just a traditional male, right? If you're a traditional, standard, family-loving, you're raising your kids the right way, you're religious, right? You have a, a worse time of getting your message across. You have to walk on eggshells in order to get your message out, right? And I understand, even making this video, guys, making this video, telling you these things that you already know, People listening to this already know this. Some people say it loud, some people don't. I say it out loud. I can express myself freely on this platform. The reason you see uh, very low views all of a sudden on my videos is because I'm being censored. Because of some of my views, like the ones I'm expressing right now. YouTube censors me. They do. They censor a lot of people, right? That's why a lot of people have to go to sometimes to other platforms. Sometimes people have to put their uh, message in, in their own website, stuff like that. I don't have time to do that crap. I don't care about this, right? This is not a business for me. It's not a formal business. But for those people who choose it to, to make it so, they don't have to take it. You can take, if you have a business and these woke idiots, these woke white privilege idiots attack your business. You have every right 
to consult your attorney and ask them what the right steps are. This is a freedom of speech issue. You either believe in freedom of speech or you don't. You either believe in the American values of democracy or you don't. It's as simple as that. And if you think that other people don't have the right to express their political opinions, express their religious opinions, express their opinions on science, if you're opposed to that, you're opposed to being a true American in the sense that we believe in being free. You have the right to live your life however you want. Anybody here in America can be a Marxist, they can be a leftist, they can be a communist, but you can't be a capitalist. You can't be having these values in another country that is a socialist, Marxist, or communist country. Not without repercussions. And these people are bringing their ideologies to the internet. As a matter of fact, they rule the internet. Why do you think you have so many teachers, so many journalists, so many people in industry repeating the same things? All these people believe in censoring opinions that they don't like. That's anti-American. Simple as that. If you believe in censorship, you're anti-American. That's why this country exists. Now, they're going to tell you all these other narratives of this and that and the other. Nobody is perfect, right? Nobody is born perfect. Every single leader, every single political movement, every single religion has made mistakes, including the ones that they profess. These people act as if socialism has never done anything, anything wrong. You know who created lists? You know who targeted people for freedom of speech? You know who is doing these kind of things? Socialists of Germany back in the 30s. And we exactly know what we're talking about because these are the kind of tactics they would do. This is what fascists do. These people turn around and call everybody else every other name. Right? If you're religious... You're a fascist. If you don't vote the way they vote, you're a fascist. If you don't believe in whatever they believe in, you might be a racist. They can label you anything. And these are mostly white men and women calling minorities racist because they don't agree with their point of view, with their indoctrination, what they believe, what they were taught in college by an idiot that couldn't hack it in the real world, and that's why they hid in college and became professors. Look at all these professors. They would never make it in the real world. These professors that have been out there talking all this idiocracy. And these are the ramifications. Now, it's up to you, the individual, to speak up, to take action, and to call these people out. These two people right here are un-American. These two people right here do not believe in American values. They don't believe in family values. They don't believe in freedom of expression. They don't believe in the right for you to express yourself in the way you want to express yourself. And if these people rule the internet, if these people can shut Smash JT down, and you may not like them, it might not be your favorite creator, but if you say nothing right now, it's your cr favorite creator that's next. If they did it with him, who's next? They know what to do. If you stay silent and do nothing and, and don't call this out, then you're part of the problem. I'm not going to stay silent. They can take down my channel. I don't care. I'll make another one. I'll do it in another social media platform, whatever it is. This right here, guys is a fight you need to fight. If you don't make a change, it will never change. How many times people have complained over the years and nobody actually does anything about it? You guys need to stand up. You can't take it from these idiots. This right here is white privilege. This right here is censorship. This right here is un-American. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.